coffee time's good for chatting about life and I haven't been able to do that with friends uh, for a while and we may not know each other but these little virtual coffees are an attempt to start talking about uh, all that's been happening in 2020. Uh, my name's Matt, I'm a Christian, uh, I'm a church minister with many of the same questions that you might have if you're not. Perhaps we could imagine that we've caught up on how we, we both are in these strange times and then we could imagine a, a back and forth conversation. So where are you starting out as we try to make sense of all that has happened? Perhaps you have big questions, maybe they're not even on your radar. It would seem a shame if we all go back to normal now without thinking about the things that really matter, you know, life and death and hope and, and purpose. Here's how I'm starting out. I reckon we can either approach all of this as if there's God or, or no God. I don't know if you agree, it seems those are the, the two options. Many in our culture would say there's probably no God, in which case we're, we're just a bunch of molecules. Here's what Richard Dawkins, the biologist, says. He says, the universe that we observe has precisely the properties that we should expect if there is at bottom no design, no purpose, no evil, no good, nothing but pitiless indifference. He's saying this stuff just happens. You know, the, the strong eat the weak, the rich crush the poor. There's no rhyme or, or reason to, to life. But doesn't that mean that the one thing that we want to say, it shouldn't be like this, is, is just taken from our lips. And it's, it's hard to see how we can really call anything wrong or unfair or, or evil. And I'm wondering if that's how we really live. Our, our intuitions tell us that those that we love and, and those that we lose are more than just molecules that are being rearranged. I wish we could have some, some back and forth on that, but as we wrap up our, our quick coffee, can I ask if you've ever started with, with God? You know, tried out the, the worldview of, of the Bible to see how the Bible makes sense of things. I, I know that it raises other questions. And I, uh, just because we don't want the world to be scary doesn't mean that we should go about, about inventing uh, a God. I know that. We'll want some evidence. And I'd love to tell you about where I'd look. I could tell you about uh, this, the, the World One-to-One, -one, a guided read-through of a biography of Jesus. Maybe we could do that over a coffee soon. But that's enough for now. I'll get the bill. <laughs>